Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and this is a quick demo to show how to import uh, data into Contact Wolf contact management software. Now, on your screen right now is uh, Contact Wolf. And this is uh, right now we just have a sample database, just has one record in it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to import a CSV file. Basically, uh, Contact Wolf imports data from other programs, applications through a format called a comma delimited file or a comma separated file. And I'm going to show you what one of those looks like. It's just basically a file that can be exported usually from most address book software programs or other contact management programs, Lotus, Outlook Express, ACT. Most good address book programs can export data in comma delimited format. So let's see, I think we have a file right here double click on that. This is a CSV file that was exported from another program. Um, as you can see, what's important is that the first line that I'm highlighting here has the labels for the data fields. And each, each data field label is separated with a comma. And then below it is all the actual data. And it's, it's exported in this format where every single uh, data field is actually it's just separated with a comma and on each line is a separate record. So this is just the normal universal format for a CSV file or a comma delimited or comma separated file. And as I said, most good address book programs can export the data in this format. It's kind of a universal format uh, used for importing and exporting data. So we're going to Im import this data into Contact Wolf and show you how easy it is to do that. So let's close this. So to start the process, you just uh, click on the file menu, import comma separated file dot or dot csv file there are they're commonly named dot CS, csv files but they can also be dot txt files what's important is the format and, and that it's a text file so you click on that we're not going to back anything up so we're just going to find the file right here it's uh, names one dot csv we'll open that you can see the little message that says the file is loaded successfully now what you're now presented with is a little window from contact world that's that's used for mapping the data fields. So you have to map the data fields from the file that's exported to the Contact Wolf data fields. And that's how it knows how to match data fields. Now on the left here, you can import into the personal directory or the business directory just by clicking on either option. Now the personal directory, there's two things to remember. In Contact Wolf, if you, records that are in the personal directory require a last name. And uh, if, if the record that's being imported does not have a last name, it's going to be skipped. So make sure that you're importing data into the personal directory and make sure your data has last names. If the data, let's say, is all business data, it just has a company name, then you'd use the business directory. So the business directory in Contact Wolf requires a company name, does not require a last name. So again, the personal directory in Contact Wolf, all the data requires a last name, and it uses that for filing the data. And in the business directory, it requires a company name. So this data is mostly personal data, people's names, friends, family, etc. So we're going to use the personal directory, so we'll select that. Now, in, th in this window here that you're matching, uh, on the left under imported field, that is the actual data that's, that's being imported from the file. And we saw this data when I opened the file a minute ago. That top line is the, exactly what you're seeing here in the left, this left column. The right column are contact wolf data fields, and currently they're unassigned. So they don't, it doesn't know how to match the data fields. So what you're going to have to do is just go through each data field. You click on it like that. So you highlight the, the data field, and then you go down to this drop down menu here with a little arrow and you pick the matching contact wolf data field. So for salutation, uh, we in, in contact wolf salutation, Mr. and Mrs. etc. We, we call that a prefix. So you just select the prefix and you can see it's been assigned here under this under this uh, column contact wolf field. So we've already assigned the first one. So you just go through this process and repeat it. We'll do it very quickly here. So we'll pick the first name from the exported file match it to the first name for Contact Wolf, last name from the exported file, match it to the last name in Contact Wolf, the company name in the exported file, so we just fo follow down, kind of scroll down the Contact Wolf data fields and find the matching field, the company name. Uh, address 1 uh, in Contact Wolf, that would be Street 1. Address 2 in Contact Wolf, that would be Street 2. City in the exported file, and uh, we'll match up with City in Contact Wolf. State. Likewise, will be state. If I can find it here, there is state or province in Contact Wolf. Now you can scroll down here, and you have to get all. You want to get all the data fields. So zip code from the exported data field is going to be the postal code in Contact Wolf. Country, 
will match up with country. And then uh, phone one. Now the exported files they don't name their they don't give a label to the phone. So contact wolf we do have labels. So you just have to match them as best you can. In this case we'll match phone one to the contact wolf uh, home phone. Phone two will match it to uh, the work number, and phone three will match to the cell number. And if you know the data that you've exported, you'll know what those labels are. I'm just guessing here because I'm not really familiar with this data. And then the title for the person in a contact will be, I guess, would be the company title. And then notes, and this is one important uh, point I should make. Contact Wolf, the comments data field in Contact Wolf is unlimited. So if you're going to import a large data field from your exported file, like a comments field or notes field where it has a lot of, a lot of text, make sure you import it into Contact Wolf's comments field. So we're going to match it to the comments. And the reason is some of these data fields in, in Contact Wolf have limitations to how big they can be. The comments is unlimited, so that's that's a great place to import any large amount of groups of data. So we're going to pick the uh, comments that's here at the bottom, and now you can see everything here is is selected. Now, one other thing I should mention: you can skip data fields. So, for example, let's say in phone two here, let's say you did, you did not want to import that, or sometimes uh, sometimes programs will export just a huge amount of data fields, and Contact Wolf literally can't can't import them all because it just doesn't have that matching data fields. So if you have a, some data fields that are being exported that are really not important to you or you just you don't really care about them, all you have to do is double click on it and you can see how it turns to ignore field. So anything that you double click on in this in this list here, it'll contact wolf will ignore it. So we'll go ahead and reassign that, but you can see how just double clicking ignores the data field. So let's reassign phone two to we had it to phone work. So everything here now is done, everything's assigned. So you just click finish and it tells you how many files are to be imported. Click yes and you can see it's working now to import the files. And we'll just wait a second here. And the only the only records that'll be skipped are records that are incomplete from your exported data or this, as I mentioned we're, since we're importing into the personal directory in Contact Wolf, uh, if it doesn't have a last name it's going to get skipped. Everything else should be imported as long as it's um, in good shape. So we have 630 records imported, and you can see, um, let's see, the personal, and if you list them all, you can see now we have a huge amount of records in the database. And you can see as I click through, we only had one record previously. And you can see all this data has been imported and the information's in the right place, and it looks really good. So. I think you can see that uh, impor uh, importing data into Contact Wolf is very simple to do. And uh, just match the data fields and make sure you import it to the right directory and you're ready to go. And as uh, mentioned also previously, most good software program, good address book programs or contact management software do have the ability to export data in that format. So if you're moving from ACT or if you're moving from Outlook Express or some other contact management program and you're moving this uh, data to Contact Wolf, make sure you export it in comma delimited format or also known as comma separated format. And uh, that format's very similar to an Excel file, by the way. So uh, that will end this, this uh, demo for uh, importing data and look for more demos in the future. Thank you for listening.